My name is Neil Forsey. I'm an application engineer with Agilent Technologies, and today I'm going to talk to you about an optional feature on the 53230A universal counter. That optional feature is pulsed microwave measurement capability. Found on the microwave channel, channel 3, uh, it can measure up to 6 or 15 gigahertz. So the idea here is this type of feature is helpful in radar applications, electronic warfare applications, and also some communication applications. To show an example of it, I have Agilent's MXG signal generator, basically simulating my pulsed microwave signal. I have one at 1 gigahertz with a pulse width of 10 microseconds at a rate of 1 kilohertz. Uh, we can see the signal on the oscilloscope just sort of in the pulse form. If I back off a little bit, we can actually see the sine wave, the 1 gigahertz carrier frequency sine wave. Now, on the counter, what we can measure on this type of signal is the pulse width, the pulse repetition rate, the pulse repetition interval, and finally the burst frequency or the carrier frequency. Uh, so here's the measurement. I have the pulse repetition frequency displayed right now at 12 digits of resolution. If I switch over to the pulse repetition interval, which is just the inverse of the measurement we just saw, then to the pulse frequency or carrier frequency, we can see 1 gigahertz. And then finally, the burst width, which is approximately 10 microseconds. So the advantage to using the counter for this type of application or this type of measurement is there's basically three big advantages. Uh, the first is accuracy and resolution, high accuracy, high resolution. It's a counter. It's a timing device. Uh, the second is cost. It's fairly low cost compared to normal solutions in this application space, such as a wide bandwidth scope or a spectrum analyzer. And then finally, ease of use. With just, in a test system, with just a couple commands, I can get a measurement off the counter quickly. Uh, so that's all I have. Thank you for watching.